Hi guys, George from Cypress Insight. And today we're gonna to do a few jobs. So come along. Now the first port of call is take one of our cats, Polly, to the vet, she's not well. So this morning, guys, we're continuing with the theme of boat. We're hoping to launch it tomorrow on Saturday. Today's Friday, obviously. And we're gonna start off the day we're fixing the fish tank. Got lots and lots of algae in the fish tank. I did clear it out, but unfortunately the plants were quite small and we didn't have much shade. So loads of algae in the fish tank. I've cleaned that out, I've cleaned all the filters. Everything's been cleaned out. There is a bit of uh, dust. There we are, probably sand on the bottom. So I've just filled it a little bit. The fish are still in there. I didn't take the fish out. Filled it a bit, put some chemicals in, obviously, get the chlorine off. And it's running through the filter at the moment and cleaning out the last little bit. So I want to get that really, really clean. And then I'll continue filling it up maybe this afternoon. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the wood yard and get a hardwood seat for the Kestrel dinghy. Because I noticed there wasn't a seat for the helm or the driver's seat and thought oh can't have this so I'm going to go and get a bit of wood measure it up come back here cut it and then go back so there we are guys the cat's been dropped off and Polly might have to stay in for a few days okay we're going to go down to the wood yard that's not too far away we're in Paralimni at the moment so here we are at the Builders Merchants and I'm going to go and have a look if they've got any offcuts first and then if they haven't I'll have to get a whole length I do like these tiles guys, I've got loads of tiles here look at these, they look like wood, I saw them the other day right let's go down to the table saw or the upright saw should I say there's the saw Let's go and have a look, see if they've got any off cuts. It'd be a little bit cheaper. We don't need a whole length. Looks like we're in luck. How about this length here? Looks like it's broken off. We only need one metre sixty. That's a lot longer than one metre sixty. That do perfectly. Right, let's go and uh, pay for that little piece of wood. And we'll go on to the boat this stuff here guys is the latest thing it's insulation it's about that thick and they're putting it outside older houses and then they render it it's really good anyway we've got our plank of wood and we're regular customers at this brilliant wood yard and builders merchant guys and he didn't charge me for that, he said just take it, it's an off cut, no problem at all. So that was very nice of him. So that hasn't cost us a bean. Right, let's go down to the sailing club guys and mark that bit of wood and then I'm going to go back home and put it on my table saw, get that cut and then back to the DIY shop and get some stainless steel nuts and bolts. Here we are back at the sailing club. Oh, it's lovely and quiet down here, isn't it? Peaceful, guys. It's about half past nine in the morning. There's hardly anyone here. There's the famous coastal path down there, guys. That'll take you down to Panera. Let's get that wood onto the dinghy and measured up. Now, there is a massive centerboard, guys. Look at this. It's made of metal. Really heavy, beautiful centerboard. And I don't know how I managed it when I took it out of the water. I managed to pull it out. And I'm just looking down there, and the little pin's still in it. So um, I haven't done any damage, luckily. Right, let's measure up this seat. It's going to go across here, you see. See, there's a seat there at the front. Now, my posh friend up here in the sailing club says it's not called a seat if it's on a boat i don't know what it's called guys but we're going to call it a seat why not 
we're not posh are we so there's the front seat or the conveniently located bench that goes across let's get the sow out of the way shall we there we are and that's at the front so that's obviously for your crew sit there at the front and uh, do, do the jib now I need one here at the back so around this area I think let's just check it let's get the boom and the sow out of the way there we are now we know what's going on so there's the tiller guys and there's the pulley for the main sheep pulls in the big sow and I don't like it there I think it's too far back guys if I'm gonna sit here and I don't really want to sit any further back that's ideal here you see maybe there I can put my feet here in the center if I'm reaching out and this is far too close if I'm sitting here I need it just around here I think so I'm gonna take that off and probably make another block oh, it looks a bit worn doesn't it I'll take that off guys take it with me I'll take that off take these little cleats off I mean they're no good they have all been painted and then I'll move this up here and that's a little way away from where I'll be sitting I was going to cut the tiller down it's a little bit too long I might keep that for a little while see what's going on and then um, cut it down if I need to it's really long isn't it look how long it is right let's mark this off get back home get it cut measure the nuts and bolts that we're going to need and get that uh, pulley off now that's not coming off i'll bring the battery grinder later and cut that off i'll measure up the block anyway make a new block and then i'm going to move that up there probably 10 centimeters up that give me plenty of room guys now so that's uh, it's going to be sorted later the centre board's fine, we'll put that in once we launch the boat. Maybe today or tomorrow we can slide that in if it's in the water. Or maybe I can lift the boat up off the trailer. Probably easier just to launch it into the sea and then put the centre board back in. I'll bring some grease with me and grease that up. And it probably might need some adjusting. So that's another job now i'll mark this bit of wood and i'll measure all the bits and pieces that i need right we are at the diy shop here in Dorinia and we'll go and get our stainless steel nuts and bolts so here we are there's our friend here sorting out all the bits and pieces and all these drawers guys are full of nuts and bolts and screws so you can have one two three half a dozen whatever quantity you want and i've picked up some stainless steel nuts and bolts there from the back let's go to check out there's george at the checkout george i've got the stainless steel nuts and bolts in there all different sizes have you got all the codes yes oh brilliant and i've got some other plumbing bits for the fish tank We're back up indoors guys and it uh, looks like the filter's working really well. There it is. By the way, I did make it myself. It's just a barrel and the pump pumps the water up and through. There it is, crystal clear water. Look at that, beautiful. Now we have still got a little bit of that sand so I'm going to mix the water up a bit more and force it through the filter. I use the net, catch some in the net. Right, let's go. So here we are, there's the table saw, let's switch it on. We've got the marks here. These are the nuts and bolts that I had to buy and this is the block that I've got to make. 
Right, let's cut this bit of wood first and then we'll find another bit of wood for that block. There's a nice chunk of wood. There we are, I've just cut this out. That'll do, won't it, guys? There we are. So, I'll give that a little rub down. I'll put a bit of varnish on it and then we'll take it down to the boat. There's the seat, that's all cut. Ready to go. Right. There's the great Cypret potato. So I've taken it off guys and I'm glad I've taken it off because look, there's a screw missing. So I'll take those screws off, they're just wood screws and then we'll put it back a little further up and you can see the original colour of the bolt in fact guys I don't even think that was the original colour I think it was another colour underneath that anyway we'll move it up here I want to take that one off as well that's pretty rubbish this one's okay but it's in the way so I'll take that off as well clear this whole space and then I'll put it over here there we are, we've got a clear space to work with. And look at the original colour. Like a blue colour, beautiful colour. Whoa, that's worked out brilliantly. Look at that. Fantastic. It's out the way now. That block is amazing. And that cleat is just a little bit up. Can you see? So you can flick the rug down. If it was down there, it wouldn't be any good. It's up here, but it's perfect there. And I've got plenty of room between the new seat and the pulley. There we are, so that's brilliant. Now I've put some tape on the rudder extension. There it is, and I've done it badly on purpose. Because can you see all these little ridges? And that's going to provide lots of grip. Because when I went out, I couldn't even grip this thing. So slide, it's made of this aluminium stuff. So I've just taped it up. That's perfect. That's worked out all right. Adjusted the tiller a little bit. That's been cut down just a tiny bit, guys. Gives me a little bit more room. So I'll cover it up. And then I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to launch it. And put the centerboard back in and then hopefully go out sailing now it's a bit rough on the edges guys i know that it's not very good the uh, fiberglass that's not very good but this is a trial boat i'm only trying it out i'm putting that in its right place where i want it to be i'm putting stuff i'm moving things around all sorts of bits and pieces guys made this convenient located chair here so i can sit on the back comfortably and if the wind's behind me I could sit in the middle I wonder if it's strong enough it's a bit bouncy this one but um, might be okay well it's all trial and error and of course we've put a bungee here on the rudder to make the rudder goes down into the water when we launched it it was just floating around so that wasn't any good right, right let's get this boat covered up so the sun doesn't perish the sail and it's not a very good sail guys but again as i say i don't mind it is an old sail i've made adjustments and we'll see how it sails first and also the jib sail guys that's an old one too now i will be getting a pipe plastic drain pipe and i'll split it and put it on top of this to protect it from the sun so that'd be another project and once I've got this sailing and it's okay and everything's in its right place and I'm happy with it I'll take the other boat which is in much better condition than this one to the workshop and I'm going to totally revamp it guys I'm going to restore it back to its original state another day at the sailing club guys it's Saturday a week later now and it's flat calm out there look at that isn't it weird flat calm in the middle and then a bit wavy and hickety pickety here near the rocks not much wind which is perfect at the moment guys because i don't want a lot of wind until later on when i go out sailing so summary of what's happened guys uh, we went out last week didn't we and we discovered quite a few faults 
It was a bit of a disaster really, wasn't it? Anyway, let's move this sail out of the way. Right, let's start at the beginning. We launched the boat. It did sail really well, so that's a good thing. And I discovered that it didn't have a conveniently located bench here at the back. It's got one at the front. So here we are, we've got a bench now. This was a little far forward as far as I'm concerned. So I've moved that. We found out that the rudder, here's a rudder, that kept floating, it won't stay down. So I put a bungee on there, we'll try that later. That's fine. And I couldn't get a grip on this tiller. So I've put some tape on it and it's all hickety pickety, look all rough. Yeah, I've done that on purpose to get a good grip. So that's that done. Now I can't think of anything else that uh, went wrong, guys. Oh, yes. Yes, I can. As I took the boat out, I don't know how I managed it, but the massive centerboard came flying out. So I don't know what happened there. I've checked the pin. The pin's down there. I wonder if it's been repaired before. Look, you can see the big bulge there. That's where the pin is, and that goes here. There's a pin there, and that slides in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch the bolt in a bit, and then I'm going to put the centre board back, or attempt to, that's fine. Then I'm going to check that this spring or bungee holds the rudder down. I'll check that. I'll check everything else, guys, and then we'll go out. Hopefully by then there'll be a bit of wind. It's a bit weird guys, there's water inside the boat in the front. And there's nowhere to take it out. So I'm going to put a, a little stop. There we are, another problem solved. Loads and loads of water in that buoyancy chamber at the front guys. So it might be leaking somewhere, but it doesn't matter. As long as we've got somewhere to release the water, it doesn't really matter too much. Well, I've definitely repaired the rudder problem, guys. I put it on the wrong way round, and that's why this bungee didn't work. So there's two problems. We didn't have a bungee. There it is here now. It's, that's all working fine. And I put the rudder back on the wrong way round. There we are how silly anyway that's definitely repaired that's going to be fine i've tested it out here on dry dock that should have gone off by now all the mastic down there guys so the front ballast i've got to keep an eye on that when it gets full of water i have to drain it out and then we'll find out later on where the water's coming from so disaster strikes it sunk just here luckily it was just here guys i lost the main halyard or the rope that pulls the main sow up i lost it into the mast so i capsized it on purpose just here so i can get the rope down the mast and it started sinking boat started sinking guys uh, so there's a major leak somewhere on this particular boat and then it hit the bottom just here I, I'm only on the edge luckily we weren't sailing and uh, there's some damage there and that was damaged from before it's been badly repaired look at that hole and there's little holes there so that's got to be taken out guys look it's full of water it's actually literally sunk there's the sow in the water and i'm gonna tug it out and uh that's it brilliant eh what a fantastic sow brilliant now i'm hoping the other boat is much better and i'm sure it is but this can be repaired i'm not that bothered right let's tug it out right let's tow it out well at least we've got it back to shore guys and we'll have to reevaluate our sinking ship. We could call it the Titanic. 
don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below